this, but always close matches. Nobody pulls away much in this house. We can expect this match again, go right down to the ninth and 10th frames. Just like he did in the first match coming up with a big strike. Getting a double and taking an eight pin lead. So Sober is up shooting in the eighth, spare working. Winner of this game, our second, and our live coverage will meet Cliff McNeely. A four. Butch looking down at the lanes, uh, as, as everybody knows, as you bowl on lanes, they begin to hook a little bit more, and Butch thought he threw that ball solid in the pocket and left a four pin. Now, the pro being... Uh, as meticulous as they are about the lane, they'll probably move over just a half a board. People don't realize that the, it makes that much difference, but if you want to continue to get those strings, you have to play the lanes just right. It's interesting to hear what the bowling goals are of the various professionals. Butch Soper says his goal is to stay on the tour. His opponent, Joe Hutchison's goal is to be better than Dick Weber. <laughs> That's a goal. And... That is quite a goal. Soper trailing by three, trailing by nine, up in the ninth frame. Soper there with that big strike in the ninth frame. Joe Hutchinson always bowls good in Cleveland, and I asked him why, Chris. Here's what he had to say. All right. We'll hear it later, get our problem solved. Ninth frame, he can take the lead by 19, double working. What a pressure competitor. Finishing with three in the first match to defeat Marshall Holman, 234 to 229. Situation is this, Hutchinson with another strike in the 10th and 11th frame can shut out Butch Soper. In fact, with a strike here in the 10th, he'll be going at a 250 pace, would shut out Soper. One more strike. If Hutchinson doesn't strike, Silver can still win the match. Well, he has just strung four after opening with five and then an open. And he just put the knockout blow on Butch Soper. Little Butch Soper has bowled a sensational game. He can still have a possible 246. Hutchinson's going to be in a 250 to 260 range. He's just looking to the left to see the scoreboard. Possible 265 for Joe Hutchinson. Five in a row. And he gets a little break. Watch the two pin on this ball. Going to the sideboard, gets in between the four and the seven, and does its work. Boy, that's the bowler's friend. with a 265 to go with his 234 of the first victory and he moves up against Cliff McNeely 11 strikes get it in the second match 11 and Chris that one shot was just a little high here's Butch Soper finishing up he has a possible 226 great game but not enough so uh, Butch is going to get $3,500 and for our winner Joe Hutchinson, he has a chance. One more step toward the $8,000 first prize, and he's happy. Cliff McNeely will be his next opponent after this. Up every morning, waiting for my roll on Eddie Persprint to dry.